We had been making investments for a long time. You referred to the Fox investment. At one time, we owned 5 percent of Lowe's, which is which we were the biggest stockholders other than the Tishas. Uh, we had made investments in MGM Home Entertainment. When Coke bought Columbia, we owned 10 percent of, of Columbia. So I, I knew something about the industry. And when we started with Viacom, we had in mind uh, just making another investment. But the more I got to see this company, and uh, the was more it, Was then a cable company primarily? Yeah, it was a very small company. Nickelodeon was considered a fad. Uh, Nickelodeon now has 335 million worldwide subscribers. Nickelodeon, it was said, would never make it because it was only making a few bucks. Who ever heard of a kid's channel making it? And Nickelodeon is the number one channel in cable, not kid's channel, the number one channel in cable. The banks wanted us to sell these, so it shows us why the banks are. I said no. That was the year in which we launched MTV International. But it was a small company. Uh, I went for it because I saw our business, the theater business, as non-growth. And it is non-growth. Uh, the only way it's kept up is by uh, increasing admission prices. But, and by the way, before you go too far with that, it's still the cheapest form of entertainment in the world. But the same number of people go to the movies today went 30 years ago. So it was non-growth. And I saw Viacom as the flip side of that. I saw this appetite for entertainment. I saw, could see, even though I didn't know the businesses, the importance of television. And uh, Viacom was television. Viacom was just exactly what I envisioned, without too much knowledge about the industry. What did you do to acquire it? We got into one of the most difficult battles that I've ever been in my life, although Paramount was worse, um, with management. Management really basically wanted to steal the company. Uh, and what really stimulated was when, when management decided they were going to buy take the company, and the leverage take buyout. It private? Yeah, yeah. They, they were, were going to take well, it private. Private or not, probably would have had public stockholders, but they were going to take it over in a leverage buyout. Um, I decided I wasn't going to go away. And it was a fierce battle. It was very difficult because they had a so called independent committee who, every time we made a bid, tipped them to the bid. So we made a bid, they raised it a quarter, on and on and on. The big difference between our bid and theirs was we were prepared to invest $500 million. Seems like a lot, but it's worth about $11 billion today. And uh, they were going to invest like $25 or $50 million, which meant they would have to dismantle the company. There was no way you could operate that company on that basis. So ultimately, we did prevail in that. 